Hi, my name is Ray Chambers and in this example I'm going to continue on from depth data. However, we're not going to use the depth camera this time. What I'm going to show you is how you can use the skeletal tracking, but when you put your hand forward, it detects the other value of it. So if I just take you into the code, so if we just go down to view code, if we go down to our ellipse positions, what you can see is a lot of the time we're using the x values and the y values, so we're using up and down. Now, there is actually a third type of movement you can check, which is called the z value. Now, this checks how close you are to the camera. So, I'm just going to play this for now and just show you what I've got. So, I've just got a simple program that I got from Lesson 8 which you can move things around. Okay. Now what I'm going to show you is how to make changes to the code based on how close your hand moves towards the camera. So if I go down to this bit of code, this is the bit that controls my gestures. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up a text box. So if I go onto my code I'm going to include a text box. Let's just put it up here. And I'm going to call it Detect Hand, just for future reference. So, I've gone back to my code now. If you type in So what we have is hand detect hand dot text equals convert dot to string hand right dot position dot x z. What this does is this detects the value of how close your hand is to the connect. So if I'm really close or if I'm really far away. Now the reason why we have to convert it to a string is I'm just passing it to the text file so that you can see what it looks like. So if I play this now you'll be able to see the number changing. So I'll start that up. So if my hand is really close, it's less than 1.5, but if I move my hand really far back, it's about 2.3, 2.5. Now I'm just going to show you how to change this now. So, my hand's really close, it's about 1.5, so I'm just going to set up a new bit of code here. So I'm just going to show you that. So, if hand right dot position dot z is less than 1.5, I want the program to send a message, sorry, detect hand dot text equals hand is close. So I'm just saying the hand is close. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is change the size of the actual ellipse, which is called right hand. So, right hand dot, sorry, spelling, right hand dot width equals 100. Right hand dot height equals 100. Now, if I leave that like that, my problem I'm going to have let me just change that to a capital letter. The problem I'm going to have is that it's going to stay at the size of 100. I need to make it back to what it originally was. So I'm going to put else if 
handwrite.position.z is greater than 1.5, then I'm going to give it its original size. So let's move this down a bit so you can see this better. Detect hand.text equals hand is back. Right hand dot width equals 20 because that's the original size and right hand dot height equals 20. Now watch what happens when I run the code now. So if I put my hand close the size of the ellipse changes. If I move it back, it gets smaller. So imagine if your hand was in front, you could maybe send a key code like a keyboard shortcut. You could probably do the whole thing with your whole body. So if you had a game that was a maze, you could move your whole body forward and replicate moving around a maze. There's lots of different things you can do with this on the Connect. I hope that tutorial has been useful. If you need any further help, just let me know. Uh, you can contact me at ray underscore chambers at lodgepart.org.uk or through the Partners in Learning Network. Thanks for your time.